guys, uh, this uh, topic, forensic in topic, bore of gun is important, okay? So what exactly is bore of gun? So you know this is a gun, correct? This is actually a rifle, this is a gun. So this is um, the chamber, okay? In front of it, you have this barrel, correct? Now this barrel, inside the circle, whatever you see, right? This diameter, this hole, that is the bore. So what is bore? It is the vast length of hollow barrel anterior to the chamber cone or taper is called bore of gun. So you'll have to define it. First of all, what is bore of gun? Anterior to the chamber, okay, there is a hollow barrel. The vast length of it is called as the bore. Got it right? So bore of gun you have explained. Now, they seem to be more interested about the bore of the shotgun. They are not interested about rifle, but anyways, we will compare, okay? So it also uh, can be called as the caliber of firearm, okay? What else it is called as? Caliber. So if they ask caliber also, you will write the same thing, correct? Okay, good. So now, shotgun, rifle, so many types of guns are there, right? Revolver is there, so many types of guns are there. Now let us see shotgun. They seem to be more interested about shotgun in the exam. So shotgun. So basically, the uh, there are two ways of defining the uh, bore of uh, a shotgun. You just can uh, take the diameter of it and that is direct method. Okay, that is the direct method. Otherwise, there is indirect method. In Coming to indirect method, guys, just take one pound of lead. That would be 454 gram of lead. Okay, and what you do? You check that what diameter of ball is fitting inside this barrel, okay? Then what you do, same size, uh, so many balls you make from the remaining lead. Like if it is uh, 12 spherical balls, that is 12 bore, okay? So is it clear? Take one pound of uh, lead, that is 454 gram of lead. Make one ball from it which fits in this barrel, okay? Then you make equal number of balls, so many balls you make, okay? Then you will know. How many balls you have made? Now, if you made, uh, uh, let us say, 12 balls. So, it is 12 bore. Now, let us say this barrel is really big and you made a big ball. So, same size, how many balls you are able to make? Only 5 balls. If you made 5 balls, it is 5 bore. If it is, if you made 12 balls, it is 12 bore. Means what's, what you are saying? The smaller the gauge, more is the diameter. Here it's ultra, right? If more diameter, smaller gauge. Smaller gauge, more diameter. Larger gauge, small diameter. So it's pretty clear, right? Just see if your understanding of it is correct. So let us say the diameter is large, okay? Then you'll fit a big ball, one big ball. Now similar, how many balls you're able to make? Let's say you're able to make total of five balls like this, okay? No need to put all the balls in that uh, pipe. Just totally five balls you're making. So this is five bore. Now 12 bore is there here. But you see 12 bore actually is a smaller diameter. 5 bore means larger diameter in this case. Okay, if it is indirect. If it is direct, you directly tell the diameter. Hmm? Now let's move on to rifle guys. Now rifle, basically you can see here, it has something like, are you able to see? Okay, rifle, you can see here, it has something like land and groove. Okay, so between two lands, Whatever you are measuring diameter, that is the caliber. How many people understood? How many people are uh, sleeping? So basically, what are, what are we discussing today? We are discussing the bore of a gun. We have finished the bore of a shotgun. Now we are going to bore of a rifle. Now rifle, because it is going to have this kind of a land and a, uh, and a groove, you will take the caliber as the shortest. So you will take it between two lands, okay, the diameter pretty clear right so if the this caliber is uh, 15 sorry 5 millimeter that means you are saying the diameter is 5 millimeter that's all right here you're saying 5 millimeter the diameter is 5 millimeter you're saying okay 5 millimeter rifle means it has a bore diameter of 5 millimeter that's all so now what is the legal medical legal importance of this so significance is that basically Specific cartridges can be used for specific guns. Other cartridges may not fit properly. So you will be able to identify the gun that fired the bullet or you can identify the bullet from the gun. Okay. So that's all guys in uh, this uh, bore of gun caliber etc.
So in this video you studied about the bore of a gun, you have seen the bore of a shotgun and bore of a rifle. Okay, that's all for now. Bye-bye.